got the boys over tonight. My two littlest ones are here, but I wanted to show you my little, um, I have one of these islands and I, hard, I don't hardly really use it, but I just wanted to show you a couple of my Halloween pieces. First off, I have this little uh, box from India and it's got skulls carved in it. I love that. I bought that at Ross. And I have my little Hamza, and it's really funny because Hamza has kind of been scrolling into the Halloween type season. And then here's my birthday card that my daughter made me. She's very creative like me. I had no clue she was going to do this. Isn't that gorgeous? And see this right here, this little um, cigar box? That was actually my Mother's Day card a couple years ago, and I made a, you know, put it on a box, and I'm not finished with it, but... I thought the card was so beautiful, so I made like a little box out of it. And there's a little vintage shoe that I have. Here's a Scentsy Warmer of a skull. Um, and this is all kind of like on my island when you walk in. And then I've got this little vintage phone. My dad had a lot of vintage metal pieces like this, so you're going to see a couple pieces that I have out here. Then I have my little sign right here that says, Be Amazing. A couple of uh, skull glasses this little necklace thing that I have let me see if I can get it and show you what it does I just have to put it on a little chain but isn't that cute Dia de los Metros same with that day of the dead and then this I picked up this year this has an evil eye on it and it is a Halloween piece I ended up breaking this when I brought it home and I was so bummed out but I glued it back together and you know what it's good enough for me but it has was called the evil eye and I have a tattoo of the same thing and it isn't really an evil eye what it really is is that it wards off evil spirits and this has been around for hundreds of years so isn't that really pretty I just love this piece right here um, then you have this little wooden there's my bird cage back there and then I have this wooden plaque that I bought last year with a skull on it and just some variety of little things that I have. There's another Day of the Dead. I got that at the festival last year. And then my little kitten thing. And then I picked these up today. These are these little Mexican candies. It's like a peanut butter. Let me see if I can open one up and show you what it looks like. I gave my daughter a couple tonight. They dropped the kids off. And so I said, let me give you a couple of these. But they're like this. They're just like a little peanut butter Anyways, I bought those. I thought that was kind of cute to add to the Halloween festivity. And then I have my little mat right here, which has got skulls. All these little guys right here I've had for a few years. These little candle holders. I just pick up things every year, here and there. This little mug I got last year. Then I've got an acorn squash. I love acorn squash, and it's back in season. I have some great recipes, and I think I do have a recipe for this, and I will link it at the bottom of this video. But here's some also some other vintage stuff. A little phone. I've got my grandkids here, so I just wanted to share something real quick. And then I have this um, metal bowl that I put a, um, a what do you call it? A hand towel in, and I've got oranges and apples and organic bananas. And then my daughter brought me over some pumpkin okay. seeds when they did the that. roasted their pumpkin. When they, you know, cut the pumpkins. And I just like that. So I have that there. This is my grandson's little treats. My daughter always comes, hooks me up with stuff for them. But yeah, this is my little island. And I painted this island. It was all white. I have a couple areas I need to go back over with. But yeah, there's just my little decorative countertop. How about some thumbs up and subscriptions? Subscribe. Love you guys. <laughs> Bye.